Hello, my name is Paul Okama, and you are now be watching the Hawaiian Show. Okay, and now we have an interesting show for you tonight. We are interviewing we are interviewing the person who inspired Harper Lee of making the great inspirational book of To Kill a Mockingbird. He is recognized around the world as an inspirational speaker and an instructor of famous writers and authors, the well known Harley Penn. Welcome, sir. Hello, Come in, please. Okay. <laughs> Uh, hey. Stop, stop. So Harley Quinn, what did you always tell Harper Lee to inspire her to make just such an inspiring book? Well, I always tell her, um, never give up, and always um, strive for the best. Wow. That's really? very touching. Yes. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, like, while you got, while she was writing it, were you, like, always there to try to <coughs> inspire her, try to tell her, like, <coughs> try to always try to keep her up to never give up on writing this book. Well, well you know, what inspired us to make this book was uh, we had our differences. I was black, she was white, she was yellow, she was red. Um, but a lot of things, and then it just inspired us to write a book about it. We just added a little bit more details. So that's so that's the way you kind of. And so that is the way you kind of inputted racism into the book. Thank you, Harley, for being on our show. And now, ladies and gentlemen, keep on watching as we continue <coughs> our with the legendary actors of the movie To Kill a Mockingbird, Gregory Peck and Brock Peters. So, see you and keep on watching. And this guy's good here. Thank you. Shoot. Shoot. Well, uh, thank you, Harley, for being on our show. Thank you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, keep on watching as we continue interviewing the legendary actors of the movie To Kill a Mockingbird, Gregory Peck and Brock Peters. And before we go on commercial, would you like to say anything? I just want to thank you guys for letting me on the show. And this guy has fake hair. And this guy does have fake hair. I have fake hair. Welcome back, folks. And now, in this portion of the Hawaiian show with Kabar Kanahele, Soli Uso. So we are going to be interviewing legendary actors from To Kill a Mockingbird, Gregory Peck and Brock Peters. So, come in, you guys. What's up, my bra? What's up, you guys? What's up, Soli? Welcome to the show. What's up, Soli? What's up, Soli? Okay. You guys sit down right here. Okay. Well, look, well welcome, you guys. As now, um, we're going to talk to you about how the movie is going so far. So. As experiencing being actors in a movie, what what did it, how how did it impact you? Like, what did you feel about it? Felt oh, good. Felt oh, good. Yeah. I thought it was a great movie. How yeah. great movie? Like how? Like try it. Like I don't tell you. Ten. Ten. Yeah. Around there. Maybe eleven. Eleven. And Brock Peters, you were you were the you're the African American fellow yeah, who was you're the black guy who was like accused of a certain crime and you are Atticus who was the lawyer who helped him out, correct? So Brock, how did it feel to be like the main main character in the subject of racism? Yeah. <laughs> well inspired me. Inspired you? Uh, yeah. Because that's more many things for how white treated blacks. Yeah. Treated me horrible. Well, not in the movie, but I'm saying like, if you're the white guy, I'm black. I would get trashed. You know. Back then, mm -hmm. that yeah. time, right? Yeah. 
So how did it feel like being like a person like who was kind of at that time out of the, uh, like out of the group because you were you're well, well, usually white people like treated like treated black people like they were nothing. But you, on the other hand, wanted to help him because you, to, in your heart it felt right. How did that make you feel? Made you feel great. Made you feel, feel great. Because help me out a brother. You know? Yeah. I feel like you, need, you need help out those brothers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, like, what did you guys ever, like, did you, to get an upper hand on, like, focusing and finishing the movie, did you guys ever try to read the book? Well, no. No? I'm not much of a reader. Yeah, I'm not much of a reader. Talk to me. Yeah. Color board me. Yeah, look at the pictures, that's all. Yeah, a lot of people aren't readers. Yeah, I have a question for you, but yes. you guys read the book. Uh, I did read the book. I'm going to watch the movie, actually. He's a solo. They don't read books. I don't read books. I read books. I read books. I read the book. I thought it was very inspiring. I thought it was very inspiring because the way that Harley leaves. And also, our old guest, Harley Penn, just added on racism in such an such a interesting way. And besides, I noticed that you, Gregory, are wearing his, wearing the same shirt he did. So it's really nice. Yes. <laughs> you just went to the same store. So, all right. So, Gregory, as the main character of this movie, what kind of impact did, did it provide you on the subject of racism? Um, impacted me in my own life. I put this movie applied to my own life. Now my life is great. My life is great. My life is great too. My life is great. No. So, what did at you two, and just as a various question, what did did it make you more aware of, of racism happening in schools, like in, in politics, or in certain areas? Yeah. Of kind civilization. Of, kind of. Remember you put out the high school? Remember you were this guy picked on the back? It's okay, man. You need to be more aware, you know? Talk I don't know pick on him. I don't know where this guy's getting his information from. <laughs> <laughs> I love black people. They're very nice. <laughs> <laughs> You're really welcome. <laughs> So I'm guessing, so what that kind of answer says, so the movie kind of taught you a lesson. Yes. Taught you a lesson. A big lesson. Well, well, thank you guys for being on our show, and I hope you guys might come on later. So thank, so everyone, thank you for watching, watching this portion of the wine show, and next episode, we'll be examining the life of the famous football, football player that a Polynesian football player, Troy Polynol, who plays for the Pittsburgh Steelers. So, see you guys next. I figure. Faker. Faker. You stop me. Yeah. Hello, my name is Pono Kama, and you will now be watching the live show. Wine show. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Ready? Oh, where are you recording? <laughs> <laughs> Just sorry, the dog's not gonna fight you. Sorry, don't start drinking. Wait, wait, let me see if I. Light wax, you're off. CJ's gonna ask. No, I have the people to know. Yeah. What is CJ gonna ask? No, it's easy, you're asking more questions. How did you and Harley come to an idea of this one? I'm not sure. I asked that question. You're asking that question. Well, no, not after two chat anymore. Okay. So, so you're not really asking. That well, I'm just, so just, just trying to add a little side comments to what he says. Are you recording this? Yeah. So Harley Penn, what did you always tell Harper Lee to inspire her to make just such an inspiring book? Well, I always tell her um, never give up. I always um, strive for the best. Wow. Really? That's very touching. Yes. And you. Yep. Yeah. So, like, while you got, while she was writing it, were you like always there, try to inspire her, try to tell her, like, <coughs> try to always try to keep her up to never give up on writing this book? Well, well, you know, what inspired us to make this book was, uh, we 
had our differences. I was black, she was white, she was yellow, I was red. Um, but a lot of things, and then it just inspired us to write a book about it. But we just added a little bit more details. So that's so that's the way you kind of so that is the way you kind of inputted racism into the book by inputting your lives into it, right? Yes, sir. Oh, that's great. That's good. Are you quiet? I'm asking your questions. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <clears throat> Look at the empty seat right here. Oh, yeah. Bro, turn it off. Hey, relax. Pull this down too. Oh, shh. Clay, turn it off, man. <laughs> turn it off. Seriously, turn it off. I'm not joking. I'll turn it off. 